So yes, we're we're very optimistic. As I said, nothing goes straight up, and you'll have hedge funds playing the you know the big surges. And welcome back to Crypto Insights. In her latest interview on Bankless, Kathy Wood discusses the heightened anticipation and firm pricing in the Bitcoin market, largely attributed to the expected approval of a Bitcoin exchange-traded fund. She highlights the probability, estimated at 95% or higher, of the SEC approving the ETF by the January 10th deadline. Kathy Wood delves into the institutional interest in Bitcoin, referencing a 2018 paper by Cambridge Associates. The paper emphasized Bitcoin's low correlation with traditional assets, making it a potentially valuable addition to institutional portfolios. The optimal allocation to Bitcoin, according to Cambridge Associates, varies from 2% for minimizing volatility to around 6% for maximizing the Sharpe ratio. She emphasizes the scarcity value of Bitcoin, with the mathematical limit of 21 million units and approximately 19.5 million already mined. Wood anticipates that institutional demand, coupled with education about Bitcoin's underlying technology and risk mitigation measures, will drive the cryptocurrency's value higher. Wood acknowledges the potential for a sell-on-the-news scenario after the ETF approval but remains optimistic about sustained institutional demand. She emphasizes the importance of regulatory approval, particularly from the SEC, as a significant factor in gaining institutional confidence. The macroeconomic environment is seen as favorable for technology, including blockchain and crypto assets. Wood expresses confidence in the institutional investor's conservative approach and the growing acceptance of new asset classes, such as Bitcoin, outside traditional benchmarks. We will bring you the highlights of this interview, so please don't forget to subscribe and liking the video. So, I think there's some there's been an anticipatory move that there is an appetite so that's why one reason mm -hmm. the price has been quite firm here and so I will say when a, 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 bit, a spot bitcoin ETF is approved because I think the probability is well we think it's 95% now if not higher wow. it could still you know there could be still some details which uh, you know, which would force the SEC, our, our uh, ARC 21 shares deadline January, I mean, yeah, January 10th is the forcing function here. And is there a scenario where the SEC would come to all of us in in line and say, OK, we've just discovered this. We didn't know about it. Uh, we would like you to uh, or we would like to push all these decisions back up to them. I don't know. But so far, so good. I don't think I, I know that that the cash versus in kind create and redeem uh, is an issue here. But um, um, and we can talk about that later. But uh, I think a couple of things happened, especially something five years ago in 2018. Uh, Cambridge Associates, which is a consultant to institutions, endowments, foundations, and so forth, wrote a paper about Bitcoin and said to the institutional world, OK, you may agree with all of these leaders who are calling it a Ponzi scheme or an environmental scourge on, uh, on the system, uh, but uh, recognize that the correlation uh, of risk and return uh, uh, between Bitcoin and all of these other assets is very low. So what we probably have here is a new asset class. And what institutions do know is that the best way to increase returns per unit of risk is to diversify into a new asset class. So this is very important. And so uh, Cambridge back then said, you may not like it and you may really believe all these people who are saying mm. these horrible things about it, but this is the way it's behaving. And our study, and we've put this study out, we're updating it now on what should be the institutional allocation in a broad-based portfolio to Bitcoin. If you want to, this is as of last year, we're about to publish uh, new numbers, but as of last year, if you wanted to minimize vo volatility, the optimal uh, weight of Bitcoin in your overall portfolio would be 2%. If you want to maximize your sharp ratio, so your return per unit of risk, 
uh, then the number is closer to 6%. And this kind of makes sense because I remember other new asset classes, real estate very early in my career. So 70s and 80s, real estate was the new asset class. And institutions started with a 1% allocation and then gradually moved up to that 5-ish percent, maybe above. And then emerging markets, when that became a category, because it wasn't one emerging market at a time, but it was a category, a new category. Again, started with one and moved up to 5%. That, we believe, is what is going to happen here. And I think the fact that we and others are educating institutions that, wait a minute, this is math automatically metered to go up to 21 million units, and we're at roughly 19 and a half million, uh, the scarcity value uh, is already showing itself. And with institutions starting to push in, that will be ever more true. So can, might we get a sell on the news? Well, sure, we've had a nice little burst here. And there's just the hedge funds trade on anything, on any news. So you could have a, a, a bit of a sell off. But we think that uh, the institutional demand is going to take this uh, this new asset class much higher. If you look at uh, the performance of Bitcoin over over rolling three, five, seven year uh, periods, it is the top performing asset. And over all those uh, periods since its inception, it's the top performing asset out there. So uh, institutions cannot dismiss it uh, un unless unless they think there's some they they know something that nobody else knows and i doubt they do about the underlying technology you know even the the risk of a of a hack um you know teaching them about okay this is the the base layer hacks have been de minimis uh, philia cor correct me it's the layer ones uh, you know, it's the the ba it's not the base layer. It's the layers on top that have been hacked effectively, and once they understand that, they have to step back and reassess it because you know base uh, layer Bitcoin is where they will have the exposure, right? In cold storage, uh, it depends on who, which the which issuer, but in our case, at Coinbase the regulatory seal of approval. And that will be the SEC uh, approval of a spot Bitcoin ETF, because the if it's good enough for the retail investor, again, the uh, SEC is really thinking about the retail investor. If it's safe enough for them, then institutions certainly uh, should not dismiss it as a, a new asset class. I think the seal of approval from the SEC, especially given how vociferously the SEC who has said, you know, I think uh, incorrect had made has made incorrect observations. You know, we know the people at, in the research department at the SEC, the crypto research department. They are very good. They know what they're talking about, and uh, I think some of what we've uh, witnessed out there has been much more political in nature than grounded in fact. But it has confused and obfuscated. And institutions do not want to get in the way of that kind of uh, dogfight, right? Uh, now they've got more the judicial system on their side. Okay, check, check, you know, legislative uh, side is starting to move in the right direction. So these are all sources of confidence, I think, for the institutional investor, it, which is a very conservative investor. We have uh, grown up in a world and uh, that has gone very benchmark sensitive. You know, they don't want to put anything in their portfolios that isn't in a benchmark. I founded ARC for, for that reason, because there are so many exciting companies and opportunities out there that aren't in benchmarks, and certainly Bitcoin isn't. Uh, so this is uh, this, uh, again, is one of the reasons uh, I founded ARC. But we needed the the checks, the checks of the checks and balances for institutions to really say, OK, it's safe now.
I think the macro environment is going to be good, a good, good, not for all technology, including, including uh, blockchain technology. So, and, uh, and, and, and crypto assets. So yes, we're, we're very optimistic. As I said, nothing goes straight up and you'll have hedge funds playing the, you know, the big surges and, but truth wins out. And we think the move into this new asset class will be inexorable. Uh, uh, so pretty excited about that. So this was Kathy Wood and her optimism about the move of institutional investors into the new asset class of Bitcoin, despite potential short-term market fluctuations. Feel free to share your thoughts and engage in the discussion in the comments section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest developments in the crypto space. Thanks for watching.